Hi everyone. I'm going to work on the boot camp theme for this Monday. Uh, it's lace, five different types of lace. Uh, bear with me, this will probably be cut and put back together uh, so it's not terribly long. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and start with just a basic lace. Uh, pretty much the only lace I've ever used ever ever actually painted before um which is just the the mesh part that like you might put in your masquerade masks or something like that um and i'm just going to do sections to keep it from being terribly long to give you an idea you can get into a whole lot of detail i didn't realize how much detail you could get into with lace until I was researching it yesterday to figure out what the, what I was going to paint. Um, but anyway, so we're just going to do crosshatch mesh. And I'll also be stopping to take pictures before I wash off. So, and now this could be closer together. If I was doing it on my face, I wouldn't have it so far apart. Um, but I figure for everyone to be able to see, I probably need to make it as large as possible. Hopefully this thing's recording my voice. It keeps telling me it's not, but I've tested it a couple times now. And it has been, so hopefully. I'm not going to have to do a voiceover at the end. I'm using a really thin liner brush. I'm pretty heavy handed when I paint. So I use this brush a whole lot. But use whatever you're comfortable with. You kind of got to get thin lines when you're doing it. So that's the basic mesh diamond pattern. Um, it's easiest when you're painting it to do. Because really, like the mesh and, and uh, lace normally is more like a, well, I don't know, I don't know what this shape is. It's a little beehive looking shape. But oh my goodness, I couldn't imagine trying to draw that multiple, multiple times. Um, so that's just like the basic right there. And then you would go in, you could do your scalloped edge. this is showing up since it's white on my really pasty white skin. And I can come in and do streamers down at the bottom. Top. Maybe a dot right here. If you work smaller, it doesn't have to be as detailed. So that's like just a basic, basic little mesh lace, little piece of trim going on, on the top and the bottom. Um, I'm going to wait, put you on hold for one second, and then we will, I will be right back after I take a picture. because so we're going to work off this one for the next one.
All right, I guess it's not going to give me the warning. All right, for the next one, we're just going to work off this one, which is the basic basic mesh. We're just going to add a little bit more detail. So we have the basic, just cross-hatched mesh, um, but to add in some more detail and make it a little bit different, you can then add and some dots. And there are so many different types of lace and so many different inspirations for lace on Google. And I learned very quickly that most of them are really, really detailed um, and not easy to paint. So I am dumbing some, some lace down to be able to paint it. Because when I was practicing yesterday, I realized how difficult it actually was because like, like I said, I've never really painted lace, so I had to practice a little bit. And as you can see, it just gives it a little bit of a different, different effect. And you can come in and you can change your, your trim parts. Give it a different look. A bit more detail. All right, <clears throat> that's the uh, lace style number two. Once again, it's like the first one. I just added to it to make it a little bit more detailed. Okie All right, taking a picture and one, be right back. I'm using a little bit of black star blends. Mine's all broken. Um, for the background, instead of drawing out a mesh, I'm using it as a not terribly dark so it'd be a super, what it would look like was a super ultra fine mesh. Um, and so pretty much <clears throat> just going to go across. Then we're going to do this one in black. Uh, probably you could do this in white too, but I was scared the white star blends wouldn't show up at all on the camera. And actually, I think this looks better in black. But it's it's up to you what you want to do. Okay, I got repositioned. So I'm doing the scalloped edge first. And this one I'm going to do double edge. On this side. And 
I'm just adding in little, little hatchet marks. This thing is with lace, everything's tied together somehow. All right, so we have our background and we have our top hatch, top piece. And then if we put it in here, Now normally, you'd always want to have things connecting out for lace, but with this, it's pretty much all been embroidered onto the mesh, which is your grayed out part back here. So we're not having to connect over because it's been pretty much as embroidered lace, which is directly on there. Um, I'm going to do some little swirlies. Let's see what else should we put in here. We can do some little dots. Actually, I'm going to do a leaf. Let's make that a leaf. And do another one over here. Most lace patterns are very symmetrical. Um, so whatever you do with one side, you need to do to the other side. Do some tattering on the side. Just got a message. And then what you can also do whenever you do this, even if you didn't want to do an image, you just wanted to use the background as the mesh with the star blends. But you can then add in, like we did before, you could add in your dots. In. Without the lines, which makes it a little bit more tricky, keep them lined up. I think that'd be really pretty by itself too, like where you don't necessarily have to have the image in there. Just kind of going through two at once. Our options. I can't see, wait to see what everyone does. On Monday. So I think I'll just paint. I might do a mask with lace in it on Monday. 
but I've already done my five <laughs> by the time I get done with this video. So I don't, I tried to figure out a way to do all five in one design and I could not figure it out. So I look forward to seeing if anyone can actually manage to do that. Because I did work on it yesterday trying to figure it out, practicing some. Kara asked me to do this video. I laughed a little bit because I don't know how to draw lace, paint lace. Never painted it before. She said, I can't wait to see what you do. And I said, Me too. So I have no idea. <laughs> Oops, that one was big. I'm going to try to keep it on the same thing, but I'm kind of losing it, so y'all probably do a lot better than me. If you notice, it's really quiet here because I sent my husband out with the kids or else they'd be running around in here screaming like they always are. Ooh, this takes forever. I'm so sorry, y'all watching this video. Listen to me ramble. But I also don't think you really want me to fast forward. All right, so there is another lace pattern and you, can, you could come up here and do some more stuff if you wanted to. Just uh, that's, so that's lace pattern number three. So we are getting there, slowly but surely. All right, so that's another lace pattern. You could do pretty much any sort of image in there that you wanted to, or just do the dots. Um, but that's that's another idea. You know, there's so many to choose from. I mean, you really probably paint lace for a week and have new lace every single time you paint it. All right, so I'm gonna take a picture and I'll be right back. All right, lace number four. We'll see how this goes because uh, I've yet to accomplish this without it looking really bad. So if it looks really bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am not a lace painter. I'm not really a swirly, swirly girl either, so. Um, this is really out of my uh, my comfort zone as far as painting. So, all right, I'm gonna start off with our lines again, just so we have. I have a area I'm working in. Now you can do your lines a lot thinner than that. I'm using the a little bit thicker of a brush. I told you I'm heavy-handed. All right, just getting the main like where I'm gonna be painting at. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Now on this one, you really want to get everything to touch. So we got one, and then we're going to go the other way. And I've noticed with this, whenever I've been doing it, is that you want to kind of go heavier on your design lines. Because if not, it gets lost when you go back and do your actual lacy webbing that goes behind it. Um, so it's just something to keep in mind. That you kind of want to go heavier on this and just dumb it down so that it's not too ornate. I don't know if some of y'all could probably do it ornate. Me, not so much. So, but that's up to you how you want to do it.
pretty sure all you guys that are really good at henna will have no problem with this <laughs> this uh boot camp okay do lacy patterns all the time I, however, do not. I've just started doing henna. Uh, like, I've done it like twice. <laughs> just started. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Like I said, you really want to touch, keep your lines heavy on uh, this type of uh, lace. Sorry, I'm so slow. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, let's go back over here. All right, so we're going to leave it like that, <clears throat> just for the sake of the video, taking forever. I'm slow. And now we're going to go back. I'm using my liner brush again. I say I'm heavy-handed. That last brush was a size 2. And you see I have like size 4 lines. So <laughs> I am heavy-handed. All right. And so for this... We are just going to kind of connect areas. Like so. And then we'll go back in kind of dot where they connect. Because this kind of lace, it's almost like it's woven together, like almost like a crochet style lace and you see what I was saying about keeping your other lines heavy when you're doing it because you're going to lose it when you start adding in these little tiny thin lines if you don't you pretty much just want to keep doing where it's all connected Looks like you're doing uh, Spider-Man webs. I don't think there's really any rhyme or reason on how to do this, and maybe there is. I just don't know. Looked at so many different types of things yesterday. I even know the history of lace at this point, the different kinds of lace. <laughs> but 
that's all right, because I like to research things. I'm sorry if I've bored everybody. My goodness, my babbling. My slow painting. Much faster at things when I know what I'm doing. This is turning out much better than it did yesterday whenever I was uh, was practicing. Oops, spoke too soon. I just had to sleep on it. If anyone else is like that sleep on things and make it easier, come up with better ideas. With this type of lace, nothing can really be hanging in midair because it wouldn't stay in. It's all embroidered together. It's all crocheted. It's got to connect somewhere. So everything's got to connect to everything. That's how lace works. All right, so there's another style of lace, and of course you could go through and, you know, add on whatever you wanted to for the trim. Do a little double line on here. Oh, you henna people are cringing. I'm so sorry. I said everything has to connect. These are your connectors. some fringe. If anyone wants to hear the history of lace <laughs> and what the different types are. All right, and go take a picture and wash it off, and we'll be back for the final lace pattern. Okie dokie, last one. And this is actually going to be more like a lace applique, where the actual lacy part is just the image. So it wouldn't have any border, it's just the image itself, and then it's laced together. All right, let's try this.
see how much I can mess this one up. Just drawing hearts. But it's okay, because it's only face paint. That's why we're face painters and not tattoo artists. <laughs> it washes off. Although most tattoo artists get to uh, have a stencil down. Which has to make it a little bit easier, right? So it's not just complete silence. I'll just talk about random stuff while I'm doing this. Um, I know I've said it before, but I like to stand up to paint. And so it always makes it difficult for me whenever I am sitting down to paint. I lose the freedom because I lay my arm down, I lay my hand down tuck my elbow in. So if any of you guys sit down to paint, you should try standing up. It might change your whole game. So when I do my long paints on my face, I'm standing up the whole time. Can't do them sitting down. I want to, I want to tape some of them. I'm going to have to figure out a way to have the camera where I can stand up and be filmed. I've been standing to paint since I was in high school on an easel. So just what you're used to, I guess, maybe. I just tend to tuck whenever I'm down, when I'm sitting down. And I lose freedom of my brush. Like I said, I'm copying an image that I'm looking at. We'll see how that goes. And go out, out, up, down, up, down. Another flower. And do a big flower. 
And then whatever you do on one side, you got to do on the other side. Of course, it's not even. Excuse my unsymmetricalness. That was bad. Sorry. Y'all get the point there, right? Alright. That one has some extra pedal. Shh, don't tell anyone. Alright. So we're going to come up here. Do another half heart. And the side. Pick something so difficult. All right, they are not symmetrical. They're not even the same size. So forgive me. All right. There's one more flower. There's a little flower down here. So now we're just going to connect some things together. Switched my smaller brush. And we're just going to start connecting things together. We did with the last one.
right. Like that. Uh, I think I'm done. Okay, so that was five types. I may be done. Let's see. <laughs> All right, so I hope that helps somebody out there. Maybe it helped me. Like I learned all about lace. Um, but yeah, five different styles of lace for Monday's boot camp. I can't wait to see what everyone else does because I'm sure you're going to blow whatever I did out of the water. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.